Hello, hello, this is Jilly Bling. I have a project to share with you using the Stamp Bundle Plentiful Plants. And I used it once before on an easel car just a few days ago. And I have this project, um, which goes together quite easy. Um, I saw it um, posted by Exclusively Deb and her project, whoops. Well, okay, that's not gonna hold on. It's very similar to this. Okay, maybe I need a little bit more adhesive. I'll put liquid glue under there. But this is what her project looked like on the outside. And she used the designer paper, which is what we'll be doing today. Put on a few pearls. Look at this one. Very simple, but doesn't that look great? So, let's get started. This time I'd like to use this um, fine art ribbon. It has a hint of gold in it, which will work perfectly with the metallic pearls. Um, and I'll use the gold ones on this. But isn't this pretty? So use that. This will be for the words. So this bundle, or I guess product suite, comes with um, 12 by 12 designer paper and one sheet has a bit of a green background and a wood grain on the back and this you can cut out with dies so we'll do that today get a few of those this other sheet that has more of a granite gray type background cuts out all these little pots and we'll do some of that today there is one other sheet, this one here, that um, comes in the paper pack and see how it has, what is that, maybe a cinnamon cider or a crumb cake? I think that might be um, cinnamon background. Oh, I like that back. Um, but this cuts out the whole plant, but there's not a die to cut this out. You have to hand cut it, which is fine. But that's where this one came from and I'm just looking this big tall one that one would look really nice there too and then I put one single little guy right in here here's the little one so lots of options so with this paper let's cut out using the dies we'll use pearls in a minute So this will be for the words. This is for the circle back behind here. We'll do that in just a minute. Okay, so for the dies, this one will cut out just right here. And what else? So when you're cutting these out, see how this um, pot, the terracotta pot, how you're missing part of it? That's okay if you find one that you like because looking at this, it could be hidden under there. Or if you don't get a full leaf, that could be hidden underneath other ones. Okay, that's going to be leaves, leaves, there's this pot. leaves okay so I want on the front three three pots one two oh here's the third one so I run these three through here they are and then for the plants Kind of like this one. I like the different colors in that, but there's not a die, so I will hand cut that. This one here that looks like bamboo or cigars or... I have a stunt, funny story about that. I'll tell you in just a minute. So that one will cut out, and then this one will cut out. 
And like I said, if you don't get the whole thing, it's okay because you could tuck it back underneath. But this one right here will be hand cut, which is fine. One hand cut out of all that, that's okay. So here it is. And because there's this um, very soft green background, do your best to cut close. Otherwise, against the white oval, you'll see the green pattern. And I'm not going to worry about cutting it out way down through here, just because that will probably be covered up by something else. Okay, so there's one of the plants. Here's one, and here's one. And I'll cut out the oval. Okay. Okay, so lots of pieces. I'm going to push those to the side for now. So that plant, when I was in the office working, I would, I would water my plants in a neighbor's plant. And in his office, he had, it was, it was kind of similar to this plant, but it, it was a little bit taller and it wasn't quite as um, evergreen, succulent color. It had a, a hint of more yellow to it. The plant wasn't looking very good, but that's okay because it was still alive. It was green. Then I was gone for vacation and a friend was watering them and I came back and it was looking a little bit worse. But every time I went to water it, I heard, so you go in there to water it. Okay, silence. Then all of a sudden I'd hear. So then I started really looking to see what was going on. There was a bug in the base of the plant, like a worm bug. Oh my gosh, freak out. Had to go put that one out in the dumpster. But then I was curious what it was, and it was a bug that kind of looked like this. Like with these stripes on it, but it was brown. So now whenever I see anything like this, <gasps> oh, but it does look good with this card. Not to freak you out. Yeah, quite the story, huh? Okay, so for words, um, these words are from... Threw it together, but I want to use something a little bit more bold. So how about to a dear friend, and I'll put that in evergreen. This project is easy compared to all the other ones we've been doing lately. And that looks great. Just great. So I will cut this out. Using washi tape on these is a good thing because they have a tendency. If you have your machine, the cutting plate full of dies, they have a tendency to shift. I hear Bo out there. He, um, he sees the neighbors. Because it's a holiday, the kids are home. And the kids, um, I think one of them is practicing driving. Ooh, this looks nice. And he's driving around their property in circles with an old truck. So, of course, Bo has to protect the homestead here. And he, he barks. He's been barking quite a bit this morning. It's funny, their truck over there, the one that this youth is driving, um, I noticed today it's smoking a lot. So I glanced out there to see what he was barking at, and I saw the smoke, and I thought, oh my gosh, something is on fire on our property. So I had to run out, and then I just noticed, oh, it's their truck. But it's smoking so much, they shouldn't be driving that. But I guess they're driving it again. Okay, so on this project, when I put down the ribbon, it didn't seem to hold very good. I'll fix this, but be 
because I know that now, I'm going to put this one down with liquid glue. Make the ends fancy. Okay, liquid glue. Okay, nothing's moving that. Okay, so to a dear friend, we'll go on dimensionals. So, another story. Tony is kind of retired. Effective Friday. He will now only be doing the bus driving. He won't be doing the groundskeeping anymore, but he'll work on special projects. So he said he'll go in three days this week, but it's just kind of funny. Here it is Monday morning, and I know it's 4th of July being celebrated, um, but he's here, but he can't stand it. He has to go and do stuff. So he's, he's already out and gone. Okay, this one I lost part of the pot. Okay, it could go like this. I want to cover up that handle, that missing handle. So I didn't die cut this one very straight. Can you tell? Another thing is with the slightly colored background, you might want to hand cut all of these. But I know a lot of people don't like hand cutting, so when they know that there's a die that will work, I don't want to scare you away from the project thinking you have to hand cut all of it. Let's see, that looks better. Okay. So then there's this one. Ooh, that one is big. Ooh, this one's pretty. Okay, so that's how they'll go on here. So maybe I will put the terracotta pot down with glue, flat. Okay, so this one will go flat. Kind of tuck it into the pot or put it close by. Oh, that's pretty. How there's that little border and then the black to the green. Very pretty. Okay, and this one We'll go here, and this one will get tucked in underneath. Okay, this one gets dimensionals. with a hint of glue. Okay, looking good. This thing, you know what I'm thinking, can go right here. Tuck it underneath a little. Well, it might have been better if I trimmed that, but that's okay. And this one will go on with dimensionals.
Okay, I like that. So now a few of the gold pearls from the metallic pearls. And three per card is good. Oh, that looks really nice with the gold ribbon. Okay, so the front is done. So now for the inside. I like how this bold font came out. So how about to a dear friend? Um, how about just simply thank you? It's another larger, bolder font. Okay, new stamp, if ever this happens to you, I'll show you, show you the problem first. So when you see the U, see how the ink was kind of bubbling up on the polymer stamp? Do this at your own risk. I'm finding the softer side. Just put a few little micro scratches in your polymer. And also when you get your new stamps, red rubber too, um, there's a bit of a coating on them. And after you use your stamp, wash it, use your stamp, wash it, you brush off that coating. But I, I, I want it to work right now. <laughs> okay, so let's see how that works. If it holds the ink a little bit better. Maybe. Okay. I had a friend who was doing so much sanding on hers that she sanded off the, um, oh, 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 better. She sanded off the dot on the eye. So that's why I say do it at your own risk. It's something I do, but Stampin' Up! doesn't tell me to do it. So look at the difference. This one is good. See how it's solid? That one is not so good. Even the T. Okay, carry on, carry on. So I have that. So this one has the cutout plans. So I cut out a few more. And I'll just put these here. I'm trying to keep the card simple so it's not too intimidating. Might need something else, but I'm not sure what else. Well, maybe this one. I haven't used it yet. Be careful when you pull your polymer off. One time I just pulled the whole thing off and I tore it. Not good. Okay, because this is another bold solid stamp, I'm going to do my little magic thing to it. One direction, a different direction, a few directions. Okay, so what color ink? Should I put in the cinnamon? Okay, maybe, maybe the cinnamon. Well, you know, I first need to see 
what this is going to look like. Okay, let's see how this works. I think I like it stamped off better. Cool. Okay, so they're going to be sitting in a, a row of greenery. Okay, there, just a little something. Cinnamon. This thing gives me grief every time. I know it's human error, it's gotta be, but I don't know what my error is, so I don't know how to fix it. I know with the old, what was that? The super sticky stuff? Fast Fuse. There was a trick where you would go off to the side so that the adhesive would stop right there. So then there was, yep, there's adhesive right there so it would start up again. I might need to concentrate on that. I'll try it one more time. <laughs> oh, it started. Well, that looks nice, kind of handsome, the colors. Okay, so for here, just like that. Should they be on dimensionals? Usually I don't use dimensionals on the inside of cards. Maybe one of them. Maybe the little one. So this is a fun bundle. This one, if I hadn't got it, I would get it all over again. I really like this one. I like how the dies match with the designer paper. Okay, there it is. I really like the gold with the gold pearls. Very pretty. Okay, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. And until next time, bye.